Welcome to Collins Street. This is where Brack got his inspiration from to paint Collins Street 5pm in the 1950s. So Brack came to the corner of Collins and Swanston where his friend lived and waited in the same doorway for him whilst making deliberate observations of people and their behaviours and expressions while coming home from a hard day at work at 5 o'clock. He found that that was really the only time when you could sketch people you know, when their head wouldn't turn around to see what the next person was doing because they were just in such a hurry to get home. So at the beginning of his painting, Brack soon discovered that he was really making judgments of people and making an assumption that people, you know, had quite dull and boring lives when in fact they were just as complex as he was. So he began painting from a different perspective and not being so detached from the painting but becoming more involved in what people were doing. So this video really is just taken as a basis of what you can create an activity around for students to participate in. Um, taking them down to a place where John Brack used to stand and observe people, you know, at possibly you know the busiest time of the day in Melbourne is allowing students to really become more involved in what they are studying and it would be just such an engaging activity for students to partake in and also you know letting them take in what's going on around them and open their eyes to different people and their behaviors and allowing students to really notice things about people and the world around them that they wouldn't generally notice about people walking past them and in their everyday lives. You know, furthermore, this activity really allows students to appreciate the work of Brack and compare and contrast the differences between Melbourne in the 1950s and today. Perhaps giving students questions, so, you know, what, what do you notice about people today in the 1950s as compared to today? Or, you know, are the clothes different? Do you notice do people notice you making observations of them? You know, what are the similarities and differences between Melbourne today and Melbourne in the 1950s? You know, John Brack was really a truly great artist who produced some of the most iconic imageries with just Collins Street being one of them. And, you know, we're so truly lucky that we have his work really at our, not only at our fingertips, but we can become immersed in it just in Collins Street where his work was was based. So it's a really great opportunity to give a, a students access to these sites and giving them opportunity to get into direct contact with the city and be able to relate to their surroundings, which you know in turn might give students a greater appreciation for his work. Another great tool, you know, if you're looking to extend on any of Brack's other pieces, would be to go to the National Gallery of Australia, where they have, I think, about 16 to 20 pieces of his works. And you can also download podcasts from iTunes, which illustrate a bit more of history behind some of his pieces, and also give you some of his wife's views, and you actually get some voiceovers of Brack himself talking about his paintings and there's one on Collins Street in particular if you'd like to look at that one too. So continue watching the video and maybe you know getting students to look at it if you can't get to Collins Street and seeing what they observe about the people around them.